So I'm back with my Watch Me Shrink series and I wanted to report that I'm doing fabulous. I'm still doing my cardio, still watching what I eat, and just very proud of what I've done so far. Um, I did want to mention though that I did have a cheat day on Father's Day and I have personally allotted myself three days a month for cheat days. No more than that. Only three days per month. And if I need less than that, that's great. But no more than three. And what I do is I have a planner here that I purchased. It's going to be my um, diet planner, if, if you will, <laughs> uh, for lack of better words. But this is a planner that I uh, specifically bought to document um, my meals for meal organization and uh, it also has a calendar in there and that is where I mark down my cheat days um, and which days I'm going to use for that. So if I have any upcoming weddings, birthdays, um, any kind of days where I know that um, I'm going to cheat. I will go ahead and put them in my calendar and allow only those days to cheat and nothing more than that. And that is because basically we're human. Uh, we are going to need days like that to set aside to go out to dinner or to celebrate something, uh, some special occasion. And you're just going to need that. So um, set three days only. And like I said, nothing more than that. And if you do less, that's great. That's perfect. So um, I also wanted to say for all of my YouTube viewers that my Watch Me Shrink Meals and my Meals in Minutes, okay, they're two different playlists. Uh, those are very different. The cooking tutorials that I do are for viewers that may have an interest in cooking and uh, getting recipes, things of that sort. And those are meals that I film that I make for my family. But the Watch Me Shrink uh, meals that are on those videos, those are for for me, basically, my journey on what I'm doing, um, you know, on my weight loss journey. So, just to make that clear to all of you, um, what else did I want to mention? Oh, I also wanted to mention that in this video, I'm basically just going to give you all tips to meal preparations, how to make uh, meals ahead of time, snacks ahead of time, things of that sort. Um, I have found that it works for me and I'm hoping that uh, it may work for you all as well. So I'm going to change things up a little bit and kind of just show you how I do that. And um, I basically do that because for me it's a lot easier to have those things readily available as opposed to going into my pantry, eating the things that aren't good for me, simply because there's just nothing there and there's just nothing quick for me to grab. Um, so I'm eating, you know, basically my kids' snacks for school, um, chips and cookies, things of that sort, and they're just simply not good for me. And, um, Ever since I have been kind of pre-making all of my snacks and making things more readily available, I don't have that problem where I'm going to the refrigerator looking for things and uh, lazy pretty much to make something. So now I have more organization, things are made, and I don't have to worry about that problem of um, not having anything readily available for me and getting stuck into the trap that we all get stuck into 
and that is just trying to grab something quick and fast to satisfy our hunger. So uh, that's basically what is in today's video. I hope that you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye. Another good idea is to pre-make your foods. Um, you know, so if you're making dinner, you know, make a big batch of it so that um, you can go ahead and put the remaining in these little containers here. They're really cheap. You can get them at the dollar yeah. store. Or what you can do is spend about an hour or two on a Saturday or Sunday and, uh, you know, just spend your time in the kitchen cooking all your foods for the week. And um, so what I do is I basically, I don't want to spend my weekends cooking, but what I'll do is each day that I make, a, you know, myself a meal, I will go ahead and put it inside a container and leave it in the freezer. And then when I feel like having lunch and I, all I need to do is go into my refrigerator and pull out a meal. So as you could see here, this was a dinner for me one night. And um, it's basically grilled chicken with spinach and sweet potatoes. And I made extra, so I have that in a container ready to put in the freezer. And, um, and I will have that at a later time. Here is another meal that I made, and you, I'm sure you've seen this one as well. And it is my salmon cakes um, on a bed of spinach with avocados. So I made extra, and that's in there. I also have uh, salmon with spinach and my Caribbean rice. And I think... Uh, I also had a video of that as well. And then here you have more rice with chicken and spinach. And here I just have some whole wheat pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and um, corn, some extra black beans and zucchini. So pretty healthy. There's a lot of veggies in that. And so that is, basically that is a tip um, that I have for you is to pre-make all of your meals. Also keep snacks readily available um, in your fridge so that you can just not be tempted with anything bad that's in there that you shouldn't eat. So here I have raspberries, strawberries, I have these um, whole wheat breadsticks, I have um, red and green peppers, here are carrots, and here I have um, celery, and inside of it I already have my almond butter that I'll eat with them. I have some trail mix here and always have fruit readily available. Um, always, always, always have a fruit basket uh, with fruit in it ready to go. And then the last thing that I wanted to share with you are these little dips that I made. And those will go with these um, vegetables here that I cut up. This is basically a, here I'll get this so you can see it, a peanut sauce. And I got this at Trader Joe's. And I really like, um, you know, curry and peanut sauces and you know, Indian and Thai, you know, those types of sauces. So I bought that and I went ahead and mixed it with a little bit of um, Greek yogurt. And then I have, um, which I showed in a tutorial already, but I have my chipotle peppers in this little jar here. 
and I think I already showed you how I make that but basically all I did was um, mix that with some fat-free sour cream and then this green one here is basically a pesto a homemade pesto that I made using fresh organic basil which is right there and I put a little bit of cilantro some pine nuts and um, basically um, poured in a little bit of uh, reduced fat buttermilk put it in the blender and made a little dip so what I will do is cover these up and put them in my bags okay so I went ahead and put all of my dips um, inside of my little snack baggies and these again I think you can get at the container store or one of those stores um, dollar store or grocery stores I don't know um, but they're basically just little Tupperware containers and I just put my dips in them and then whatever I plan to eat um, with those particular dips I go ahead and just put it in the baggie that way it's readily available and I can just grab it from my fridge and uh, already have everything made and put together so um, here are my breadsticks. I have a dip for that. Carrots, I have a dip for, as well as my green peppers with my pesto dip. And then my celery sticks with my um, Justin's almond butter. So I have my meals that are put together. I have fruit readily available, lots of containers lots of aluminum containers uh, if I decide that I want to pre-make something keep them in the freezer and um, you know bake them um, on any occasion they are readily available as well as my fruits and trail mix and there you go that's everything that I wanted to share with you and I hope that this has been useful and that it's been a really good tip for you to use um, and just get you a little better you know organized and inspired with your weight loss journey I know that it's you know really helped me a lot and um, so yeah that is my tip for the day so this morning's breakfast, um, I decided to switch up a little bit, and uh, this week I think I'm going to be uh, switching it up to oatmeal. So I, um, I bought some oatmeal, I cut up a bit of strawberries to put on top, um, there's cinnamon in there, and just maybe a little bit of brown sugar to sweeten it up, and of course my coffee, I can't go without that. And um, so, yeah, this is my breakfast, and uh, I will see you all at lunch. Okay, so for today's snack, um, I had a lot of fruit on hand, so I'm going to have uh, some cut up watermelon and pineapple, along with my um, cucumber, lemon, and lime water. Okay, so here are just some of the items that um, I am putting into my salmon cakes today. Um, also keep in mind that today I'm using salmon, but there's other days um, I will make tuna cakes or crab cakes. So uh, whatever you have on hand is fine. Tuna is fine. Um, it's good to use and healthy. And... Um, canned crab or if you want to buy it from the um, the seafood department they I think they have just the crab meat you could buy but anyway today I am using canned salmon and these are the items that I am putting in today because I have those on hand I have um, 
green and red peppers, garlic, uh, purple onions, cilantro, I have some panko breadcrumbs, and lime and lemon. Okay, so here are the other ingredients that uh, you are going to need. Um, like I said, I am using pink salmon, and this is the kind that I decided to buy. And I will be putting mustard um, into my bowl, as well as some kosher salt and garlic powder and the pepper. I forgot the pepper, but I'm going to get that out. And as a binder, I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of buttermilk and Greek nonfat yogurt. Um, and that is because I am allergic to eggs and I'm going to need a binder to help keep the salmon and everything together. Um, so they will stay um, you know together when I put them on my grill so that is what I'm using as a binder uh, to replace the eggs but if you don't have a problem using eggs then you can just eliminate the yogurt and buttermilk and just use um, an egg to combine your ingredients so I have my bowl here that um, I've gone ahead and put my salmon and all of my cut ingredients, which were the bell peppers and onions and cilantro. I put um, the spices, which is pepper and kosher salt and garlic powder. And then I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze in um, some lime and lemon juice. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my um, panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze in a little bit of mustard. Okay, and I forgot to mention this, but what I also do is put um, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce and Tabasco sauce into my mix. So I have just done that and now I'm going to go ahead and put in my binder which like I said before I put in fat free Greek yogurt and a little bit of buttermilk. But if you aren't allergic to eggs or you don't have any problems with eggs then um, at this point you would put in an egg or two depending on um, how much you're making. So I'm going to go ahead and put my binder and then I'm just going to go ahead and mix it all up. Okay so once you've put all of your ingredients together then what you want to do is uh, go ahead and create little patties and that is what I've done here. I've made a couple of little patties and then what I do is um, just put them in the fridge for a little bit just so they can kind of set and that way when I put them on the grill they're just a little firmer and they're not um, too soft and falling apart. Alright so I have oiled my grill um, with coconut oil and have placed my um, patties on the grill to cook and then I'm just going to go ahead and flip them around um, once they have firmed up and have cooked at the bottom they'll be golden brown and I will turn them over and repeat the same process. Okay, so this is the finished product. These are my salmon cakes, and again, like I said, you can use uh, tuna or crab. Uh, today I decided to use salmon, 
but these are my salmon cakes and I go I went ahead and laid them over a bed of spinach and I have some avocados in there I uh, put a little bit of lime um, on top of my crab cakes so just kind of squeezed some juice on there and then here is the chipotle my version or lean version of my chipotle ranch dip uh, so that's what it should look, look like uh, right there it's going to be orange in color uh, like a pale orange and uh, so yeah that is going to be my lunch for today